Hello guys, uh, recently I've been playing a lot with stable diffusions in paint uh, function on photos of me and my friends and get a bunch of cool results and uh, frequently I get asked about how I make these photos and uh, I've decided to make a short YouTube video explaining this technique maybe show you a couple tricks a couple of settings that you need to know to get a system to result so here's a couple of examples and let's go so to get this to work we need stable diffusion running on our computer and for the easier use of stable diffusion we need web ui for it in our case, we're going to use Automatic 111 Stable Diffusions Web UI. It's pretty famous. You can uh, download it from their GitHub page and uh, install it following the simple steps. I will not show you here the process of the installation because I've already installed it. There are a bunch of videos on YouTube showing the installation. For example, you can check CG Matters video where he follows all the steps and showing the whole process. Inside stable diffusion interface, we need to go to image to image mode to work with uh, photos or other image sources, and from there, we need to go to in paint mode to be able to draw masks or upload them. And now for the settings the most important one would be CUG scale, it needs to be set to the maximum, and denoising. Denoising uh, needs to be set around uh, 04, 05 it's a good starting point and then we go to uh, increase our resolution uh, set um, sampling steps to 35 it's also a good starting point and the sampling method to ddm it uh, works fast and uh, gets good results as i think um, also i like to set batch count like four or maybe six to get many results and select one that I like. Uh, and for the prompt, I am nothing special. I'm gonna just paste prompt that I used lately. For a test photo, I will be using this photo. Twelve mask like so on the head and leg, for example. And maybe another leg. And now we need to set uh, in paint masked and let's uh, try this one. As you can see, we already have pretty cool results. Uh, for now, we can reverse our mask and need to in paint the whole body. And uh, I'm gonna this process again, but with a uh, batch count of two and maybe increase the noises. Yeah, after we have a muted mask, you can see that the girl in the photo stays intact, but not on uh, all surrounding also intact. Yeah, but uh, as you can see, our mask is dirty and results are not, not so clean. And uh, to fix this issue, you can go to Photoshop and uh, make a more clear mask. Uh, for this, we need to just simply select subject and uh, fix art style that are selected. Yeah, like so. Copy our character, fill the ground with black, and make our mask white. After this, we can uh, select a plot mask, uh, drop a photo, drop a mask, and do this whole process again. Now, as you can see, results are much, much clearer, and uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, by lowering the denoising, you can uh, leave more of the original photo intact and the results will be slightly less crazy as uh, I show right now 
As you can see, with a lower denoise value, uh, the text on the walls are kind of visible and results are more tame. Uh, yeah, uh, so you need to play with this value to get the results that you want. Now I'm going quickly show you a couple more examples and uh, thanks for watching and uh, have fun.